Welcome back to Iron Helm. This is going to be Grimly's Descent into the Dungeon. So I actually chose randomly, and I came up with Grimly. So this is what Grimly looks like when he's on a green screen. So yes, his skin is green. He's hard to see. He starts with 14 hit points, 10 energy, has an encumbrance rating of 9, but starts with 2 rations, which I love, and 4 gold. So what I've done, just so that everybody's clear here, is I finally, you know, went, took some time to go read up on how to integrate all this stuff together. So there is never a time where I will ever play this again without the loot and lore and fanny pack integrated but then I realized I have all of these characters and they too can just be thrown in there so I went ahead and put all of the characters from all of the packs I have in here I think I'm only missing one character it's the promo character he comes with stone fire I don't have that um, and then on the YouTube comments, somebody pointed out, you know, the rest of these things go in the box. So it was nice and easy uh, to, to keep track of how much health and energy you have. So I've got Grimley's 14 health and 10 energy here, and the rest of them just not in the game so that I don't have to sit here and count how many I have. It's not like it's an endless supply. That makes it easy. What I don't know is if gold is resource limited or not. I couldn't find an answer on that. Now, um, additionally, I uh, so I added all the characters in because there's no reason not to. When you're playing an adventure pack, you do have to have different plot cards, some removed, some new, uh, different loot specific to the adventure gets added in, and some enemies removed and added as well as bosses too. But there seems to be no restriction on skills, trappings, and characters, so I just threw them all in. This is The setup we've got in front of me now is my forever setup, unless I'm doing an adventure pack and then you know you have to switch swap in and out some of these. Uh, now look at the size of this amazing trappings deck. It's literally bigger than the loot deck, which is a very, very good thing because when you're making your character and starting your character, you only have somewhere between like one and four gold pieces. So you get to buy all kinds of different stuff, but you can't afford it all. So every time you play, you're going to be looking over like, look at this guy. Holy smokes, this battle axe is insane. Die results of one deal six damage. So Wow, right? I mean, there's just, just some amazing stuff in here. A poison dart, a fire tome, some garlic, right? Punch daggers. What does the garlic do? You may discard this card to avoid a single attack from an undead enemy. There's so much stuff in here. Witch's bread, right? It's awesome. And, and because it's available at the beginning of the game, but you're so resource limited with four gold, you're not going to be able to just pick out like all the best stuff. You're going to get one really good thing or two very useful things, right? So I really, yeah, I, did, I dig that idea. Uh, whereas you get, you know, of course, your, your powerful stuff in the loot deck here, which should be the same as my last playthrough. Speaking of, uh, you'll notice I changed my graveyard around up here, right? So this is, uh, this is Feyon, the first guy I played. And I did play Sword Tab, but there were some audio problems with that one. So I couldn't, I couldn't, um... I couldn't put that video out. It, it, I don't know what happened. The computer just decided that it was not going to play nice with sound. Uh, and it's actually kind of happened at the end of the Feon. It started getting worse from there and it started getting staticky. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, it seems to be sorted out now. So I put Sword Tab back in the uh, random pile there. And then I have my th my third actual play, but you only saw a second video. This was our, our uh, Kiln Olma here. Uh, Kiln Olma died as well, the, uh, the blind fighting monk or whatever. Uh, so we have uh, Grimly here with uh, some, some very interesting stuff. So Dash is the skill that Grimly will start with. Now this has to be the ultimate, like, it's life or death situation card, right? Once per dungeon level, you may spend energy to avoid any dungeon card. Any. Not just uh, ambush, not just skirmish, right? Any card. Roll to see how much energy you spent. Uh, avoiding that card. So that is crazy to lose half of your energy. That could that could be a game ender right there. So it needs to be a very important card, uh, like a, like a like a very big deal for you to go ahead and you know do that skill. And the trappings that Grimly here starts with is the flask, right? This is the uh, drink to gain two health. This one's great. May only be used once, but can be refilled at the campsite. Grimly looks like the kind of dude that would have a little hip flask here, right? So I I dig it. And. The Pilgrim's Staff is the other thing that Grimly starts with here. Uh, so this is not great, right? Plus two to the sum of your attack rolls versus undead enemies must always reroll attack results of six. So, you know, you're, you're doing the opposite of that axe, basically, right? Like, you can never roll a six, right? You're always going to do fairly poorly on your damage. So that's, that's going to be a priority thing to get rid of. And then Grimly starts with four gold. And so I decided that maybe we'd be a little bit more practical with Grimly. Grimly doesn't look like the kind of guy running around with the four gold iron helm. And he has a two-handed weapon. That's why I put this little X here so that I would remember to not, you know, take a shield or something because that's a two-handed weapon there. 
Uh, so I figured, you know what, Grimley's going to have some leather armor, subtract one when taking initial damage, right? Just initial damage, just to get over that little hump of the battle. And then I thought, why not start with some rations, right? Grimley is going to use that last gold he has to buy two more rations, because I hate being uh, ration poor in, in this game, right? And, and you are every time. Every time you play, you have no rations. You have very few. So this time, we're going to go in with four. I think that's that's a good idea, right? I think, I think going in with four rations is 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 pretty good because you have to use one per floor to not take damage and then we know there's that like wolf card in here uh doesn't the old woman have you use a, a an energy and a ration right so all these things take up more rations so i thought why not have some more rations we'll go ahead and throw that here into the trappings pile um and then and it just occurred to me i don't think and maybe i got it got lost sore tab I think I read the intro because I forgot to do it on the very first video I put out for uh, Faeon. So let's go ahead and look at that now to make sure this gets done because I love the story of this game, right? If I didn't do this before, I'm doing it now, right? The, the story of this game is not you are the little, uh, you know, anime high school kid that saved the world because you found out you have magical powers. You're not the, the you know, nine-year-old that goes to wizarding magic school and has a pet owl or whatever and, and saves the world or whatever, right? None of that garbage, right? None of this, none of this, I'm a, I'm a brand new adventurer and my parents were killed and I'm off to save the village and, you know, kill the trolls in the cave or whatever. No, uh-uh, none of that at all. Your withered hand grips the handle of your sword. Blood mixed with sweat drips down your brow and finds its way into your eyes, stinging for just a moment. Pounding footsteps shake the ground and you attempt to find a way to steady your aching feet. You turn your face, uh, you turn to face your foe as you mutter to yourself, getting too old for this. <laughs> so here's the overview. In Iron Helm, you are an aging adventurer out on one final quest to obtain as much gold and treasure as you can so you can finally retire from your dangerous lifestyle. You will venture one level at a time deep into a perilous dungeon, battling nasty monsters, acquiring useful items and powerful artifacts, and learning new skills. Your ultimate goal is to stay alive long enough to take out the main boss lurking deep within the earth. Survive and you win. Die and you become just another corpse that future adventurers will step over. Love it. Gotta love the setup for this game. So, um, yeah, all right, we're going to take a quick break here and we'll be right back and get started. All right, who's ready to loot some corpses? <laughs> Let's see what we've got here. We are going to send Grimly in here, starting out with four rations. I love it. Why not? Let's let's see here. Grimly is going to be well fed on his final journey into uh, the dungeon here. So let's see <laughs> what we've got. Grimly is going to start out with... Oh, wow. A plot card. You know what? And I like him, so why not? Let's see here. Here's one I don't think I've ever seen before, have I? In dire need. It's, 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 it's just a little too blurry. I know it's blurry for you too. I'm sorry. Uh, loud squealing echoes off the... Ca cavern spelled wrong. Uh, loud squealing echoes off the cavern walls in the clearing. Yeah, it, it messes me up when I see misspelled words. I'm, I, it's just, it must be the way I learn to spell and read is that like by just rote memorization through school. Uh, and so, I'm sorry. Uh, loud squealing echoes off the caravan walls, uh, or the cavern walls in the clearing. You see a small pig-like man being cornered by a large gray serpent. Do you defend the pig man? You dash to the rescue of the feeble creature, but the serpent was gr a greater foe than you first thought, and you are bitten badly before striking the, f fa the fatal blow to the reptile. Lose three health and gain a poison token? Are you nuts? Um, oh, and move up two on the morality track, though. I really do like it. Um, the problem is it's so dependent on drawing a card that uses it. Uh, keep moving on. You decide to leave the swine to defend itself. As you creep away into the next passage, you hear a loud scream followed by silence. Move down one on the morality track. All right. Let's, 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 let's do this. Let's kill the serpent. So what do we lose? Three health? This is going to be bad. Three health right off the bat and gain a single poison token. Yeah, that was brutal, actually. Uh, and move up two on the morality track, so we're at two. Okay, well, on turn number one, we have two eyeballs. We're already catching the eye of the bad guy. So let's see here. So we have now a treasure, gain a gold. You know what? I'm all about that treasure life. That's what we're here for. Make that money, Grimly. <laughs> Uh, skirmish. So, you know, it was bound to happen at some point, right? We have to get ourselves into a fight. The problem with the skirmish is that they get to go first, right? 
Um, they get to do their initial attack. And all we have is this leather armor, which, you know, the more I think about it, is less good than the robes that just let us avoid the card if we're stuck with it as our second card. So I think our best bet is then to take on the skirmish, because if it's if it's if it's an ambush or a skirmish as our second card, it is far worse than just accepting the fact that we have to get into this fight, right? Because this one only adds, what, three hit points? Draw an enemy card and add the dungeon level plus two to their health. So three, we're on floor one. So it's got, oh god, it's got seven hit points. And I hate this guy so much, but at least we didn't draw it, um, you know, as the ambush. So that's even better, though. That's that's okay. So it has seven hit points, this assassin here. And if I put this over here, it doesn't quite work out. It's got a nasty glare. It's too bad. All right. So we'll put it over here. And let's see here. It gets to attack first. It's going to hit me for one, two, minus one because of my leather armor, so it's going to hit me for one damage. So we're already four damage in. We only have ten hit points left, yeah? Um, okay, so ten, uh, seven hit points. Let's drop uh, two energy because we have to re-roll sixes down anyway because of the stupid pilgrim staff. <laughs> so we got three. We have to re-roll until this is not a six. Uh, we did eight. Okay, that's fair enough. That's that's all I can ask for is, you know, kill this fool. Uh, it does have a gold coin for us, so we'll take a gold coin. Uh, and it does have a single treasure item as well, right? So we're going to go ahead and do that. Loot. A long sword here. Die results of six, deal an extra point of damage. It's like the opposite. <laughs> it's like the opposite of our pilgrim staff. I can dig that. Okay. Oh, you know what? While I'm thinking about it, let's go ahead and drink from our flask as well. And I'm going to do that now uh, because I want the two hit points back because it refreshes if we find a clearing and I don't want to have it, you know, like go to waste, right? So we want to make sure that, that it's, it's ready to be refilled. The altar, I like it. Uh, ooh, we have the option to get rid of our poison though. Discard 1d6 minus 1d6 poison. <sighs> Let's take the blessing. One poison isn't gonna kill us, right? <laughs> Famous last words, right? We'll find a way to get poisoned some more. Ah, oh, here we are again. Okay, I mean, we just, we have no way to, I mean, well, we do have dash, but dash is such a huge, unbelievably expensive risk. Uh, oh my god, I can't believe it. All right, so we're adding three to the hit points of a wolf. Uh, so it's going to have six hit points. Where's a six on this bad boy? Here we go. You may avoid this conflict by spending one ration. Heck no, I'm going to fight this mangy wolf. It looks like it's going to hit me for something plus two minus one. So it's whatever I got plus one here. So it's going to roll two damage on me, right? So um, it, it, it's basically a two uh, plus one is three minus one is two damage, right? My uh, my leather armor subtract one when taking initial damage. So that's, that's that. Now what do we have? Six hit points. We have to keep our energy, so let's just do one and see what happens. We need a six. Ah, oh, dang. <laughs> well, we took it down to one hit point. Dang. I mean, it's you have to gamble it at some point, right? And at this point, we're balancing health with uh, with energy, so it's going to hit for two, three, four damage that time. Oh my god, four damage! So yeah, that's that's not good. And now we punch it in the face and kill the dog. All right, so it has no money, but it does have a loot draw for us, and that is a dagger. Whoopee! I can't even use it. I'd rather keep the long sword, right? It's way better for us. Okay, because the dagger is reroll. Sixes, right? Yeah, so it's just as bad as the staff is. Okay, so here's an ambush, and I realize I'm doing a lot of combat here now, but we're going to absolutely take this. Um, it only adds one to their health. It is an undead archer, so it has how much? Five health. That's a lot better. I can, I can handle five health. Whew. Okay, but we get to attack first. Uh, where are we? Let's do one energy and hope we just roll a five. How about a six? We did seven damage. In your face, undead archer. All right, so that also gives us an upgrade now, right? Oh, did you have anything? You had one gold and a loot. A loot. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Emerald. Discard while trading with the merchant to gain any one item he is selling. Hey, I like that. And it's zero. Weight of zero. Okay. 
Uh, so that's ambush done. Uh, okay, so I'm excited to do the upgrade. So let's let's take our three cards here, right? Wolf, Assassin, and Undead Archer, because I already know what I want. I already picked it when I was flipping through here. Boom. I want Sixth Sense. This is from an expansion. Once per dungeon level, you may either avoid an ambush or reveal both dungeon cards and choose one to resolve. That's amazing. So we're going to take that. We want to as, as much avoidance as we can get because there's so many combat cards in here. Speak of the devil. Um, I'm not going to avoid it because it was our first draw, right? Oh, see, I need I need the robes to avoid the skirmish, right? Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, what do I do? Okay, well, let's let's fight because this is as easy as it's going to get, and we want more loot, right? So it's going to be add the dungeon level to their health, so plus one. Oh God, it's this guy again. Uh, so the only good news here is that we get to attack first, right? Uh, so we're gonna, oh, I forgot this one was still here. All right, so we have to do seven damage to this guy somehow in one hit, huh? Does that sound like one or two energy to you? That sounds like, I mean, it's it's either a six or bust, right? So we may as well just spend two energy now because this fight costs more energy in the future. Whew, we only did eight damage, so just enough to kill it. Oh. <sighs> We're not going to make it. I'm not feeling good about this run so far. Uh, I, I just, I don't know. Gr gr I, I don't know. Grimly and I are not jiving. Uh, this guy had nothing on him. Wow. We're just, we're just not doing the stuff well enough here. So let's go ahead and flip this one. So it's an arrow trap. We can activate Sixth Sense to go ahead and flip the other. The lesser of two evils is a poison token, which wouldn't you know it? Didn't I just say that that wouldn't kill me? Okay, because watch what happens, right? This is the end of the floor. So we have to shuffle these. We have to eat a ration, which gains us an energy. Then our poison intensifies, because we have two. So now we have three, and we only have how many hit points left? We have six. So if we take three more damage, that's it. So we, oh gosh. I love the way the poison works in this, but man, does it suck when it works against you, right? Uh, I guess it doesn't ever work for you. Oh no. So this one, uh, you notice a strange, this is like a, you know, we, 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 we fell a floor and we draw another plot card. So that gives us what, two, three eyeballs already? All right, so draw another plot card. The shrine, gain blessing token. To oh, oh, hey, we have two. Okay, so great, we have two blessing tokens. Uh, well, three now. Cool. Oh, oh, wow. And we have six eyeballs already. Sometimes it's it goes quick like that. Um, and no way to heal. We need to find that campsite is what we need. All right. So we have the labyrinth, which we all know that I can't stand. Um, but at this point, what do we do? Do we? Oh, and then we get to take six cents again. So I feel like, you know what? Maybe we just we just deal with the ration loss this time. That pains me greatly. I hate that card more than anything. There's an ambush again. I mean, if we take three damage, we're cooked. Undead Warrior is going to have what now? Oh, we had to move that down. Seven hit points? Yikes. You lose one blessing with initial damage. There was no initial damage, so let's go ahead and let's roll two dice. We're going to run out of energy. Oops. This one didn't... Oh. And we only did five damage, bringing it down to two hit points. Oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. So what is it going to do to me? Three? Oh, oh we're going to die. Well, we lost. Unless it misses, we lost. And it missed. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, so we have to do two damage somehow. So here goes one more energy, and I kind of not roll a one. Oh, my God. Okay. Wow, um, it had one gold on it, and this is not going well. Not at all. We gain a loot. A fate coin. What is this? Fate coin says zero weight. I like that. When asked to draw a plot card, discard the fate coin to draw two plot cards. Pick one and discard the other. That's kind of cool. Okay, and it weighs zero, right? So we have two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight. We have eight on our... Yeah, we need a merchant, man. We got to find the merchant. Where are you in here? Come on, buddy. An arrow trap. Well, we can't let that happen, right? Uh, so we got to check the second card. Treasure. Draw one loot card and one po- Ooh, nice. Let's see. I need an antidote or something. No antidote. Can we even carry all this garbage now? <sighs> 
So Cinder, oh, you know what? We don't have this anymore either because this is a primary hand, so we could have had a shield. Attack results of six deal seven damage. So it's the same as the longsword, just worded differently. Plus three to the sum of your attack versus enemies weak to fire. So it's better. Cinder Blade is better than the longsword. The problem we definitely have now is our encumbrance, right? So that is uh, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I got to get rid of something. We may as well get rid of just the Pilgrim Staff, and they all kind of sell for one, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, okay, but the staff is god awful uh, compared to like if 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 Cinderblade breaks for whatever reason or I lose it, I I, I would rather have the long sword than the 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 thing, the uh, the staff. Okay, so we're not in a good spot right now. This is terrible. We need to to find a good card, and that's not it. Let's just take the second one, ambush. Okay, we have to use sixth sense to avoid the ambush because that would have been. Death. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Ambush. <laughs> okay, so at least we get the uh, the heads up this time. Flying Snake, so it's going to have five hit points. Um, I can't take the hit or we're going to die. So we have to use our last two energy to roll two dice. Yeah, barely. Look at that. Five damage. Wow. Okay. So we killed it. It had absolutely nothing. But we can level up again. Um... Eesh. Is there anything worth taking? Uh, one less poison from the... Um, you know what? Martial arts is not so bad when you don't have any... Uh, when you don't have any uh, energy. And we don't have any energy. So let's take martial arts just so we can do two damage with zero energy. Okay, so... Um, this is very bad. This is very, very bad. Oh my god. We gotta get rid of this poison. Draw a plot card. The Traveler. A cloaked figure approaches you. You place your hand on your weapon, fearing a conflict. However, the old man reveals himself as a cleric and makes a gesture of peace. He places his hand on your shoulder and whispers to himself. Gain either health or energy equal to your position on the morality tracks. So we only have two, um, and we have zero energy. So I, I, I mean, we don't have a choice. Uh, that is, uh, ooh, five, six, seven, eight. That is eight eyeballs. Ooh, we're in trouble all of a sudden. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, no. Uh, come on. Campsite. Damn it. What am I going to do? I would give anything to know what this card is, but I don't have a way to do that. Let's just risk it. Oh, it's the Mushroom Grove. Okay, so there's two rations. Wait a second. Okay. So it wasn't the end of the world. The problem is we're going to die any second. Oh, wait a second. 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 Wait, 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 wait. Okay. So we're doing the healing. Discard D6 minus D6 poison. This is our only chance, right? Really? One poison token gone. Really? Wow. Wow. Okay, I'm just curious now. Skirmish. Okay, so we kind of lucked out there. We didn't die like I thought we would. Um, but, so here's the deal. Here is the deal. We are about to have to draw a plot card. So let's do this first. So first thing is we have to spend a, a ration to go down a floor so to gain an energy. I have three more, and I'm just going to eat them all right now, because this could be it, and we have no way to know. If we're doing this in the right order, we have to follow this right here. The problem is, it, it, initial damage is going to kill us because of the poison. Uh, so, shuffle the deck, sure. Uh, feed character, done. We still have two poison tokens, even though we just cured for one, so here's yet another poison token. I mean, I may as well take three hit points and put it over here. So essentially we have three hit points. Okay. Um, advance your pawn. So we're now on floor number three and draw the top plot card. So here it goes. Yeah, this is it, right? Two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my God. The wolf. Oh, <laughs> So um, I don't have any rations because I had a feeling, I mean, we had a good chance of drawing two. So I figured it's just go for broke, right? Go ahead and eat all of our rations. So we're going to have to ignore the wolf 
Uh, move down one on the morality track, so we only have one morality. That's unfortunate, but that triggers end game, which means we get to flip over these three guys. Well, at least they're hit points, right? So that's what, five hit points? One, two, three, four, and four. Five hit points. I was hoping to get rid of the poison, man. So essentially we have eight hit points thanks to that poison, okay? I'm curious. Oh, it's in there. It's in there. Dang. Okay, well, at least, I mean, we're in as good a shape as we can be. I don't even know what boss we're going to fight yet, right? So let's find out. Determine your foe. So let's see what we have here. We have, we have, we only killed six enemies. I'm going to get all this garbage out of the way here real fast. Yikes. Okay, six enemies, and they are, can you see this? Can you see this? Uh-oh, no you can't. Undead, fire, fire, ice, undead, ice. My friends, it is a three-way tie. <laughs> uh, usually I try to play a little bit smarter than that, um, but I think, I think that's not the case today. I think that, um, I think that is not the case today. I don't, uh, so it's a, it's a three-way tie. Are there rules on that? For example, John has defeated one, let's see here, final boss card, if there's a tie for most common, remember that fire beats undead, undead beats ice, and ice beats fire. John had defeated one undead artificer because ice is most prevalent, jump. so it's a three-way tie. It is a three-way tie, so, um, I think the only way to do this fairly is is to shuffle, right? We have, no, we're not doing it fairly. If we don't do it fairly, let's fight the Naga. <laughs> let's fight the Naga. Let's not do it fairly for once, all right? Let's just see what happens if we pick, if we pick the Naga, all right? Oh, the Naga doesn't show up very well. The Naga's weak to fire, and we have Cinder Blade, which, you know what? In my mind, I say that that's exactly the boss that would have been down here, right? Something that was afraid of fire, um, and that's what we fought. Let's just say that that's what's happening. Now, unfortunately, it's going to kill me in one shot right here. Uh, so we're not going to get to actually fight, but I think it would be kind of fun. And we have a Spark Bomb. Let's see what I couldn't throw them both at the same time. We're going to lose right here. If not here, we're going to hit it once and not kill it and then lose. But just for fun, we've got one plus three. Three is six, minus one is five damage, right? This thing just hits too hard for me to survive. So uh, yeah, essentially we have three hit points, right? So there's our five damage. Uh, and we take two more poison tokens, which means realistically here, we only have one hit point left, right? And this this is this is the name of Iron Helm game to me. So we've got the option of the spark bomb oh that's funny i forgot i had the fate coin down in there right or did we do that and i forgot no i just forgot i had it buried down in there eh. okay so we can throw the spark bomb to do 2d6 plus 5 or we have cinder blade which is plus 3 because it's weak versus fire so we're going to do all three i mean i mean is can, can we even do 21 damage we could do 18 19 20 20 we, if we roll three sixes we got this Obviously, that's not going to happen. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we're it's over again. I can't. I mean, these bosses just wreck me every time. So we did a big four, five, six, seven damage to the boss. Great, you know. So it has fourteen hit points left, uh, and then if it hits me at all, I die, and we're dead. <laughs> so please roll a two. Nope, we died again. Ah, oh, grimly, you 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 fought so hard. You got so far, but in the end, it just didn't even matter. The Naga whooped us. The, the Naga just beat us down. Um, there was just nothing we could do. That poison is terrible. We never saw the merchant. I would love to have known where the merchant was in this, because the merchant would have been uh, useful. Maybe we could have bought a potion or something. Um, I made some really bad decisions early on, that's for sure. Our gear wasn't all that bad, but um, that poison just, just wrecked us. And rolling rolling to get poisoned even worse was awful uh, because we, you know, we, you really need to be in tip-top shape versus a boss. And there's only two ways to do it. You're either, you're either somehow maximum hit points and a good amount of energy like we were because we had all those rations or you have a ton of these and they get you everything that you need in this case we needed the anti-poison one 
Um, and then like those two, right? That would have been much better for us, but it didn't work out that way, unfortunately. That thing poisons us anyway, so uh, it's too bad, too sad for us. Grimly, you're a trooper. Thanks for playing. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Please like and subscribe, yada, yada, yada. But most importantly, remember that games are made for everyone's recreation. I'll see you next time.